Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now, I hope you like the new footage. This is off the brand new GoPro Hero 8 Black. So everyone that's kindly donated for towards this camera, thank you very much. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be recording this video right now. So thank you very much. So yeah, I did promise in my last rig making video, which was the pulley rig, they made out of Trident Tackle, that I was going to make an up and over rig using the Trident Tackle. Now, if you go onto the Trident Tackle website, it brings you the list of products that you can buy. Now, for this rig itself, you're going to need to get some Thermalinks, your Roto Bay Clip, your Aero Pulleys, and they're also going to have to buy, there's a set where you get this little plastic bit, it's called the Hangover, and you get a spring that comes in the pack with it, right there, and you also get a little crimp, and I know what crimps look like, and then you're also, you're going to need for this rig, two beads, doesn't matter what size, doesn't matter what colour, as long as you get two beads, you're going to need a swivel, and then any hooks of your choice, but in this case, on this rig, I'm going to make a panel with a 4-0 uh, Sakuma Manta uh, panel hook, and then a Sakuma Manta, 4 Sakuma Manta. So yeah, oh, and then you also need, you'll need rig body. For a rig body, I'm using Asso Classic 70 pound, and for hook snoods, I'm using 30 pound Amnesia. I always have, so that's what we're gonna use. Now for the rig body size, I copied off Smash, of Smash Fishing video uh, rigs. It does arm length, and then it stops at the shoulder. And that's how long we're gonna go for. Now I forgot to get some snips. <laughs> there we are. Snip that off, and there's your rig body right there. Okay. So the first thing you need to put on is your thermalink. Okay. A pair of scissors. There you are. Bit of advice, same uh, same tip I made last time. Uh, if you get a pair of scissors and cut your line on an angle, it puts a nice sharp point on the end of the line there. Just so it makes it a lot easier to get through the the, the hole of the thermalink. Like so. Just tie that on. Any knot you want. I'm going to use the same knot as I did with the pulley rig, which is the uni knot. Put some saliva on it. For lubrication, pull it tight. Tag in your teeth, give that a pull, and there you go. Snip the tag end off, like so. The next component you're gonna have to put on is your hangover, this little piece here. But you need to remember this clip that you've just tied on is the top, okay? So that hangover clip you need to, on the other tag end you need to put it through the biggest part first so the biggest part this thing is really small to hold so i hope you can see we'll call this the small part and we'll call this the big part so you put the tag end on the other side of the other side of your big body you put that through the big end first all right and then thread that up the line all the way to the top and then you're going to put your spring on now I'm going to cut the tip of this line on an angle just so that it's easier for the spring to go through because the spring is very small so there you just put your spring on and then push that all the way up to the top and then you get your crimp your little tiny crimp that you get in the pack just slide that on and pull up all the way to the top as well and then once you've got that on, then you're going to need a bead. So get any of your beads, push that on, like so. And then you're going to need the arrow pulley. Now, same way as you do on a pulley rig, you go through the bottom first, the big hole at the bottom. Go through the top of the little hole and then back through the big hole at the bottom on the other side so it acts like a pulley like a fit so in there inside there is a figure of eight okay there's a fig the eight is the line is doing a figure of eight inside there 
So inside there, look, you can see there's a big hole and at the top there's a small hole. So if you just go through that pattern I've just showed you, and it should look just like that. Slide that down, get you another bead, slide the bead on, and then you need another tourmaline, and then tie that on to the, to the end of that line there. And once you get to this part here, put some saliva on, tag end in between your teeth, pull away, and then pull it, the, the big body away from each other, pull tight, and then cut the tag end off. That there is your rig body. Now, on the pulley rig, you could have used either end, okay? But on the up and over, you can't, because you've, you've put this uh, hangover clip here at the top. So this acts as the top of the rig, okay? Now, for your imp, uh, sorry, for your crimp, you can put it anywhere you want. I normally put it about two or three inches, so the, the hangover is at about two or three inches from the tourmaline. So then if I crimp it about there, I've actually lost my little pliers, so I'm just gonna use, I can't use that. Oh, yes I can. Is that crimped? There you are, that's good, it's worked. Nice one. <laughs> I've never used them before. <laughs> so that's the first time for everything. So there, once you've got your little crimp crimped onto the line there, you wanna pull your arrow pulley down, and then what you need to do is, you need to get your bait clip, so you push the small one through first, push through, <laughs> and then that reveals the little hook on the end. And then you get your lead, Put your lead on, push it back through, and then you can clip the pulley, the arrow pulley onto the bait clip. On like so, and there you go. There's the rig body finished. All right, so then that'll act like a bit, it's gonna be a bit tougher, cause it's got that figure of eight. But what you could do, if you want, if you, if you wanted a bit more running freely without any restrictions like this one has because it's got the figure of eight what you could do i've got a rig here at the side what you could do instead of putting it through as a figure of eight you could just have it running through the biggest hole so it's running nice and freely so that's entirely up to you to try and figure out which one works best for you okay but for this one i'm trying the figure of eight just to act it a bit to just to give it a bit more a bit a bit more strong a bit more stiff all right now once you've got your rig body sorted you need to move over to your hook snood now for the hook snood i'm using my amnesia which is on the floor 30 pound amnesia you don't want to cut a length off because you don't know how long it's going to be yet and then you need to get your little swivel tie the swivel onto the end of your hook snood without cutting a length off or a length of snood off because you just don't know how long it's going to be yet until you've hooked this swivel onto that tourmaline on the rig body well so turn that tie that on with any knot you use with the saliva for lubrication pull it tight pull it again cut this tag end off now you get your rig body back now the tourmaline that has the bead one of one of the beads touching the knot that's the one you want you don't want the one that's got the uh, hangover clip next to it you don't want that one you want the one with the bead okay then you clip that swivel onto that clip like that and you bring Tourmaline, the top tourmaline to the top. So then you've got your lead at the bottom near this one. All right, I have about that gap, about that size gap, about two or three inches. All right, and then you're gonna hold it there. Hold both rig body and hook snood together. Then run them up both together to the top. And then when you get to the top, 
you want to overlap it and then run it back down again and then once you run it down you need to cut it right at where the the bait clip is at the bottom so right there so you need to clip it there all right snip it there sorry not clip it snip it <laughs> and then once you've snipped that bit off now you can put your hooks on for my first hook i'm putting my four or sakuma panel hook wrap that on and then my sakuma four or sakuma mount extra that's my main hook and tie this bad boy on all right and once you've got that pinched below saliva tag it in between your teeth hold the rig body the uh, snood in this hand that bit in your teeth hook in this hand and then pull separately so you're trying to pull the hook that way you're trying to pull this hand this way and you're trying to pull the tag end this way so then all kinks down together nice and tightly so that's tight Got the tag end off. Now, the rig is actually finished. Right, guys. So there's the rig. But there's the rig made. There's the, the the whole rig done. The rig body's done. The hook snood's done. But the way I hook this rig up, ready to cast for casting. Okay. So there's your main hook. Okay. There's your main hook. So you stick your bait on, and there it's ready. All right. The next bit you do because there's Roto bait clips are really really good from, from Trident If you get your hook You hook it up into there once you've got it hooked up, right? Then what you need to do you get all the lines that's all oh, that's dangling here So you, sh you should have a rig body and two snoods, but it's, it's all one snood if you know what I mean So then you run them both down all three together down with each other and then when you get to the end you'll have this loop here that there is your rig body that's all that's went up and over if you know what i mean and then you just hook that onto there like so onto the onto the little hangover and there you go that's the rig made nice and streamlined as you can see and then when when you when you cast and then the compression of this rig it was got, uh, when you cast instead of having it nice and tight that little spring takes it up there you could say the shock absorb uh, absorb uh, the compression of the cast you could say the compression of the cast so then when you cast it springs and then when it comes loose it springs off and that helps also to spring off that loop when it hits the water so when it hits the water it pops off pops off the loop and then you've got a long long snood with your lead at the bottom and you've got a long geez it's that long i can't even i can't do it one end long snood so for, um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure this and see how long how long the snood is so i'm going to get my tape measure put my hook in, in the hand i'm going to measure the hook snood to see how far it is away from the lead itself right hold it there and it is five feet five feet away from the lead that there is like so the bait is out in the current moving with the current while the lead is five feet away so there's no distractions for the fish to get scared so you've got a nice free motion bait flowing in the water there so perfect rig really for any situation for well for my my opinion i normally use rig, the up and over rig on a nice calm day uh, if it, if there's not much swell and there's not much tide tide pull, I wouldn't use I, I, I would use this. But if there's a lot of tide pull, I'll probably just stick to a, the pulley rig that I made in, la, in the in the rig video I made earlier. So there you go, guys. There's the up and over rig made out of Trident tackle. I hope that was nice and clear enough for you to understand, and the instructions were not too bad. <laughs> Um, well, my last time when I made the pulley rig, I used my phone so I could see on the screen what I was recording. But now because I'm using the brand new GoPro Hero 8 Black, uh, I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm only just looking at the lens, and it's a it's a nice uh, wide angle, so I'm hoping you can see everything. I hope it came out nice and clear. I'll find out now when I go in and edit the video. <laughs> so, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you did, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, 
I'm gonna get, like, we're going to do a lot more videos in the shed until we get our lockdown. So I've got a, a rod to build. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, rods that I need that I need epoxied. Uh, I've got quite a few things, more rigs to make. So yeah, stick around, and when we get out of lockdown, we'll get out and we'll we'll start fishing again. So stay safe, guys, and I'll see you next time. And I was fishing adventures. Cheers, guys.